heard a lot of rumors and questions flying around about my sabbatical that starts pretty soon. And I just thought I'd call a press conference to allay any fears and answer any questions. This is Andrew Taylor with WWJD Worldwide Services. Uh, Pastor, you had just mentioned uh, a, a moment ago about these rumors. Specifically, uh, we have also heard that there's rumors flying around that you're never coming back from this sabbatical. Can you confirm or deny those rumors? A great question, Andy. Glad you asked it. So the terms of the grant that we received actually state that I have to come back. I get to come back for a year. I have to be back at least a whole year after I leave. Part of the reason that I'm taking the sabbatical is so I can be renewed and refreshed to continue ministry here at St. Barnabas for many, many years to come. So no, I'm not leaving after the sabbatical. Uh, Pastor Sarah, um, Hannah Brescia here from the St. Barney Press. Um, there were some rumors that this is costing St. Barnabas almost $60,000. Just how much are the good people of this church paying for all of these shenanigans? Great question, Hannah. I'm so glad that you asked that. We, we, we had a, a whole team to, to write a grant to the, uh, to the Lilly Endowment Fund, and we won it. We won almost $60,000 that will go to, to pay for everything that I'm doing during my time away, and it goes to pay for everything the congregation is doing as well. Andy again. Um, how are we going to know where you are? Are you some kind of Carmen San Diego? In the narthex at church, there's a beautiful bulletin board that just went up. It has all kinds of information about where I'll be and when I'll be at those places. Um, also, I'll be sending postcards. This was a great idea that came up through the sabbatical team. I'll be sending postcards from every place that I visit. So check the bulletin board and see where I am. So I know that you're not going to be gone before. Time. So will you be seeing us on Sundays? We'll see you here in the in service, right? Another great question, Hannah. The answer, no. So this is Andy, and I'm speaking for myself, but I do think I can speak for a number of uh, folks in the congregation here. And that, what about a, can we contact you if something happens? Or, or, or just see if I want to check in and see how you're doing. You know, it's really hard for me to say this, but the answer is really no. The time for us to be apart, for me to rest and renew. Um, probably better if you don't contact me. There is a pastor who will be on call in case there are any emergencies or any any needs that arise. He he will take care of you for sure. Uh, but it's really best if you don't. Know. So really, I, I'm a little bit concerned here. It sounds to me as if we're just supposed to sit around here bored while you're off gallivanting around the world. Is that correct? Andy, you know me. Are you kidding me? I don't like to be bored. I don't want you to be bored. Of course you're not going to be bored. We have scheduled some amazing speakers to come every single Sunday. You will not be bored by any of them. So um, when is all of this over? This is over August 11th, right? August 11th, I'll be back in worship. Super excited to start sharing all my adventures with you all and to hear how things go here in that afternoon. We'll have a parking lot party with fantastic music, really good food, a big party to celebrate this whole thing. So there was a little scheduling situation with one of the trips. We thought it would be in May, but it's actually in October. I'm calling it my sabbatical PS. Uh, so I will be gone for a couple of weeks in October, but rest assured, I'll be back right after that. And then I'm probably grounded for a while. Just one more quick question, Pastor. Um, can you address, is pineapple okay on pizza? Yes or no? I, no, no, maybe uh, not. With all due respect to my esteemed colleague, you can answer that as you want, but I would request that you uh, end this press conference with a prayer. Hannah, while I do have some thoughts on pineapple and pizza, I feel like this is not the time to open major issues such as that. And so I will respectfully decline from answering that question. Thank you for thinking of it. Wait until I'm back in August, then I will answer that question.
Um, in terms of praying, absolutely, let us pray. God, we trust that this is a holy time that you have planned for us, that you will be with us throughout it all. We thank you for the generosity of the Lilly Foundation. We thank you for the hard work of the sabbatical team. Thank you for patience and for perseverance and for the ability to continue to be your church no matter where we are. Bless the time when we're apart and bring us back soon. We pray this. And all else that we need, we pray it all in Jesus' name. Amen. Man, I can't believe with the pizza. Like you get you gotta you gotta pick a side with pizza. Exactly. We're still arguing about pizza. It doesn't go on. It's the important issue, Andy. Yeah.